A winter weather emergency on top of a pandemic puts Texas nursing homes into a deep freeze, and an 80-year-old hospice administrator gets two and a half year sentence and $2.1 million fine for vast Medicare fraud. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, February 24th, 2021. To stay in the know of Long Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. A link will be in the description of this video. The resilience of Texas skilled nursing facilities was tested following severe winter storms and extreme cold temperatures last week that caused sustained power outages and multiplied operational challenges already complicated by the pandemic. More than 3 million homes and businesses in Texas were left without power last week following a record-breaking winter storm. State health officials last week said that one-fifth of nursing homes reported suffering from weather-related emergencies, including facility damage and other operational issues. Dozens of providers were forced to relocate or evacuate residents. Top areas of concern for both nursing homes and assisted living facilities were ensuring availability of staff to care for residents, managing power outages with backup power, and potential supply chain disruptions, according to the Texas Healthcare Association. The Texas facilities were also dealing with water boil restrictions in some communities, as well as broken pipes. The elderly administrator of a California hospice agency has been ordered to pay more than $2.1 million after pleading guilty to conspiracy to commit health care fraud and a sprawling $28 million scheme. The Department of Justice announced the ruling for 80-year-old Antonio Oliveira of Norwalk, California, was also sentenced to 30 months in prison for the Medicare fraud scheme. He pleaded to the crime in November. Oliviera served as the administrator for Merrimack Management LLC, which provides hospice and home health services in Downey, California. From 2011 to 2018, he paid illegal kickbacks to patient recruiters for referring Merrimack's hospice services. He also overruled clinical staff decisions when they found out that Medicare beneficiaries didn't need the services, causing patients to be placed on the company's hospice services. The scheme resulted in the hospice agency submitting about $28 million in Medicare claims, resulting in it being overpaid by $17 million. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.